But first tonight, here you go. If you discovered you were being overpaid by tens of thousands of dollars, would you say anything? Well, a city employee who didn't is no longer a city employee. This after a mistake came to light thanks to an article ABC2 investigator Josie Sturman put online last fall. She's here now with the fallout. Josie? Kelly, when we published a story last fall about the highest paid city employees, the health department questioned our data when one of their workers landed at the top of the list. Turns out we were right on the money, but they weren't. A press release from the Baltimore City Health Department trumpeted the arrival of Sarah Morris Compton, but they'd rather you didn't hear a word about her departure. There are a number of sticky wickets to the whole scenario. A complicated scenario for Morris Compton. She was hired in 2011 to manage the health department's Healthy Baltimore 2015 campaign. But in the end, the agency had to manage fallout from a story we published about her salary. By Baltimore standards, you might consider Morris Compton a high roller. She lives in Beverly Hills, not 90210, but this neighborhood in the northeast part of the city. And last year, she was the third highest paid employee in Baltimore, behind only city state's attorney Greg Bernstein and finance director Harry Black. Sarah Morris Compton made $181,000. The problem is, she was only supposed to make half that much. It is alarming, and my very first question was, how many others are there? City Councilman William Cole asking the same question we did. After discovering Sarah Morris Compton was paid double her $90,000 salary for two years, taking $176,000 in salary she wasn't supposed to get. It's just like receiving a tax refund that you're not entitled to, or going to an ATM machine and asking for $100 and getting $500. It's not your money. Um, in this case, it's taxpayer money. Money the health department tells ABC2 investigators was paid in error. The finance department blames a clerical mistake that put Morris Compton into their system incorrectly. Finance director Harry Black claims she's the only city employee who's been double paid. But finance didn't catch the mistake, and neither did the health department. I'm sure it's a lot harder when you're looking at more than 10,000 salary items to pick one out of a bunch and say that doesn't look right. But when you're at an agency and you're responsible for either a couple hundred or less um, salary lines, you should be able to identify something that's completely out of whack. But for 26 months, Morris Compton's salary went unquestioned. Although finance says since this issue was brought to light, changes have been made to the data system and review procedures so it won't happen again. We can't go back and put the genie back in the bottle, but clearly there's a process now for rectifying what went wrong going forward. Longtime employment attorney Neil Duke, also the former chairman of the city school board, says Morris Compton's situation is unusual based on his decades of experience. He says she may have had no legal obligation to speak up as her pay piled up, but there may be a moral one, considering her job was public with a specific salary she would have known about. You get caught with your hands in the cookie jar, so to say, you're going to wind up having to give those cookies back. And that's exactly what's happening. ABC2 investigators have obtained a settlement agreement reached two weeks ago between the city and Sarah Morris Compton and her husband. It says she had to make a $23,000 down payment after signing. Then she and her husband, Towson professor Dr. Darnell Compton, will have to write an $1,800 check to the city every month for the next six years. But she won't be prosecuted. At this point, it's, it's more important that the money gets paid back. It's tax dollars. Uh, the money gets paid back. And um, we've put the, the steps in place as a city to ensure that it doesn't happen again. We knocked on Sarah Morris Compton's door and emailed her husband looking for a direct comment, but they didn't respond. Their attorney sent us a statement saying Morris Compton resigned and then worked proactively with the city to resolve this situation. No fault has been admitted by either side. Now, if you want to read the whole statement or go through the terms of this settlement, just go to abc2news.com. You'll see the settlement located within the original story on our homepage at abc2news.com. We put both of those documents online as well as information about changes being made by the finance department to keep this from happening again. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.